what is up and welcome back to my channel for another part of the sims 2 let's play pleasant view so today we are with the caliente lothario family in the last part nina and dawn gave birth to their baby girl olivia she's beautiful y'all she has the most beautiful green eyes uh, she is a doll i'm excited to see what she looks like when she grows up and if she looks more like her mom or her dad even though they both kind of have that spanish heritage bloodline they go and form i'm sure she'll look pretty like a good mixture of both of them but anyways she is a doll and they are learning to parent they are failing miserably they're getting the hang of it they're both still just like really immature themselves uh so right now we have them struggling i mean they're struggling with their needs they it's just it's hard work taking care of a baby when you, you never had one before you're, you're learning the ropes so don actually worked last night and he is a resident we do know he's in the medical career i didn't know he was already a resident oh my gosh he looked like a snack <laughs> in his little resident uniform and i I don't know, I just don't think it's over with him being a player. I really don't. Hey, Nina, is Don available to talk? No, he's not. He's busy <laughs> feeding our daughter and tending to her while I'll eat. So we're going to have him come up here and put her back in the crib. Let's try to keep this house a little bit clean. He's like, damn, mama, you looking fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, we have her take a vacation day on accident uh, she is in the slacker career i forgot she is a gas station attendant and she works at like 10 p.m to 3 a.m so last night she was exhausted and as soon as she got in the bed and got to sleep it was time for her to go to work so i just kind of had her ignore that and it ended up just her you know using a vacation day uh, so yeah we're gonna have him come out here our trash can surprisingly <laughs> is not knocked over every time i look out out in the yard it's knocked over because some heifer that don is or nina has pissed off has come you know with revenge to kick over their nice little trash can out front but it looks like in his wants he wants to buy a car and i do want to start giving all of my families on here cars i kind of forget that cars is even an option you know on the sims two i forget it's not like the sims three but that's okay uh they you know what who needs open world for cars and i'm pretty sure if you missed the live stream today the day i'm filming this we had the live stream um where they hinted at things coming up we found out that we're getting a new career a fashion stylist type career and then at the end <laughs> sim guru romeo got on there and just like killed it <laughs> you know with the terrain and the foundation he he built a garage which is kind of like a hint to cars for me which oh um, we're so excited everybody was freaking out and i'm so excited so i think it'll be a lot like the cars in the sims 2 obviously they're just probably going to sit in the driveway but i'm okay with that hopefully we get a little more options uh because i mean i can definitely see dawn and nina and something like that and definitely not a minivan uh how much money i mean they can afford that I mean, I don't know. It's not, like, ideal for having a baby, though, you know? I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I could just see them being hot rides and having this type car, you know? Because I think they're just kind of in denial <laughs> that their parents and they're growing up. I feel like they would have a hot red little sports car. So I think that fits them perfectly. So while they have the money, why not go ahead and get a car? That bumped his little needs and aspiration or whatever up looks like nina is having a fit she wants to have some fun so let's have her come over here and watch tv and get that fun up um so they can take a spin i'm sure that's fun oh yeah let that, hopefully that has her fun go up but she's gonna grab the keys to don's new car she's like i'm gonna take this baby for a spin <laughs> don't mind me She's matching with the hot red hair, the hot red sweater, and the hot red car. Alrighty. And Don, yeah, he needs to eat. We need to get him showered up. And last night when he got home from work, he was taking a shower. And he was, uh, his hygiene was going up and so was his bladder. Which means he was peeing in the freaking tub. Which, I mean, that might just be because he's kind of like a messy sim. But I thought that was kind of cool. <laughs> because let's be honest. Do you pee in the shower? I think everybody pees in the shower. I'm not even gonna lie. I pee in the shower when I have to. Sometimes, nine times out of ten, I pee before I get in the shower. But if I get in there and I'm like, ooh, I gotta pee, I just let it out. I mean, ew, gross. I know, sorry, but I'm not gonna pretend that. I'm not a little bit nasty because we all do it. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. So, 
let's check and see is her fun going up any okay yeah it is okay cool so we're just gonna have her take a spin for a little bit um his social is going down and i do really want him to find another girlfriend i don't know i just feel like he's I really, I had high hopes for him, honestly, I did, not gonna lie, I did, I wanted him to be the man that Nina has always wanted, and I thought, you know, having a little girl would do the trick, but I just don't think it's over for him yet, um, that did not last long, she's still like, I need to have some fun, okay, come over here and watch TV, okay, Jesus, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I just, it's not over for him. We need to find him some new ladies to, you know, flirt with. Because, like, look at his wants. He still wants to make out with three different sims. You know, how is he going to do that? If he doesn't have options. Uh, so, obviously we're going to have to sneak around Nina. I think it'll be a lot harder because we are living with her. I don't think it'll be as easy to get away with, you know, our player ways. Uh, well, I don't know why he looks so down. Uh, maybe, what's his fears? To become a witch uh, and to change a diaper. Really, you better just get over that one. Um, oh, they're fun. This TV ain't doing it. This TV ain't cutting it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and just, like, work on their needs, get their fun up a little bit. And then, let's see, does Don have work today? Yeah, he does. So, he works at 6 p.m. Um, he only has one vacation day. Um, we may, I don't know, maybe call in sick or something like that. Because I really do want to kind of play with him a little bit and, you know, have him maybe go out and, you know, meet some ladies. Maybe he'll tell Nina, I'm going to work, but low-key, he's going to, you know, play the field a little bit. So I think that's definitely what I'm going to do. So I'm going to have them chat, get their fun up, and then we're going to have them take the day off. And we're going to go, you know, we're going to go on the prowl. We're going to go find us some single sim ladies or married. Who cares? Don doesn't. All right, so Don has arrived at, I think this place is called Lulu's Lounge. Last time we came here, which I thought I changed or picked a different place, but apparently not. We didn't have any luck finding him any lady, so fingers crossed we have better luck this time. Nina is at work. He hired a nanny. He rested up. He got showered up. He ain't playing, y'all. He is on the prowl. So I want to have him come over here and order it himself. Uh, we're going to get a poured drink, and let's just kind of scope about and see. Oh, okay. Well, so far, so good. Hello. I'm... I Seeing, seeing some options here. We have Sandy Fairchild. Let's just go ahead and greet her. Hi, how are you? Yes, keep them coming. Keep them coming. Who is this? Who is this? Girl, where are you going? Can I get y'all number? Can I have y'all number? Okay, let me see. Who are you? Um, or is this a guy? No. Or is it? No. It's a girl. Florence. Okay, we're going to talk to Florence. Florence, don't go too far, girl. Who do we have over here? Dancing. Uh, Claire Anderson. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited uh, to be a hoe with Don. <laughs> I mean, we have some options here. I'm excited. Ooh, okay, so he looks like he's attracted to her. So let's check her out. Okay, let's see how. Ooh, ooh, okay, let's have him drink this. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so funny. Oh, who is this? Looks like somebody that works with him, possibly. Oh, no, 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 no. That's Chrissy Stratton. She works with Cassandra. She was featured in our little last part we played here okay we're not interested in uh talking to anybody but these ladies over here uh so he's just gonna come over here and greet her as well we're just gonna greet all of them i mean we gotta have our options open he does want to make out with three different sims i really don't think this is something that we can do in just one night i mean who knows I mean, Don has a tendency to, like, kill the game, but I think that's just a little bit ambitious, trying to hook up with three girls in one night. So, yeah, let's come over here, greet Florence, and we're going to greet Claire Anderson. Let's check her out, see if there's any chemistry. Eh, not for real. All right, let's greet Claire. Okay, so, yeah, he's not really attracted to Florence, but let's see. Um, looks like he's attracted to her, not entertained. Where's Flirt? Yeah. Let's check her out. Chrissy Stratton is also an opportunity. How pissed do you think Cassandra would be if her co-worker started dating <laughs> her ex-fiance? 
All right, let's check her out and see if there's any chemistry between them. So far, it looks like he's got the most chemistry with, um, what was her name again? I hope she didn't leave because I'm not done talking to her. Um, he's asking her about her hobby. Okay, she's like, okay, you're nuts. Okay, it looks like there's nothing really going on working out for them two. <gasps> no, did she leave? Oh, no, 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 no. If she left, that just ruins it because that's who he had the most chemistry with. And looks like she did leave. Okay, well, you know what? We're going to have to, we're going to make something work here. I mean, I'm determined. He's hell-bent determined to make out with somebody. Oh, but look, he does want to ask Sandy on a date. So, see, he he, he wants to ask Claire on a date, too, y'all. He ain't playing. He really ain't. Is he not checking her out? Is, or is he not attracted to her? Nah, he's like, she's all right. But, I mean, can we, like, wolf whistle at her, flirt with her a little bit, try to... He, she's not having it. Okay, you know what? Crap. <laughs> oh, who's this over here? Who's coming in? <laughs> Y'all, I'm sorry. I'm all over the place, but I'm determined. I'm trying to help my bow out. My bow. My boo out here. Um, who is this? A Alan. Alan Turner. Okay, let's greet Alan. I like that name for a girl, Alan. That's typically some... A boy name, you know, in my books. It's my brother's middle name. But I really like those unisex names. Alan's cute. So let's come over here and fingers crossed we're attracted to her because our boy wants some kind of action tonight. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Thank you, Sim Gods. So let's check her out. Okay. Let's, uh, let's talk to her. Let's hang out with her a little bit. He's not as attracted to her as he is to, what was her name? Sandy? But she'll do. Oh my gosh, so he wants to buy a love potion. He already knows uh, uh, pfft, that his luck is failing him. But I forgot. Hang out means sit down and talk. And I really don't think that's appropriate. So let's just... I mean, they're at a car. I mean, at a car. Y'all, I can't talk. My head is all over the place. All I can think about is that live stream and cars. <laughs> but they're at a lounge. She's looking at him like, no. Dang it. Oh my gosh. Like, he's he's not having any luck. <laughs> and you would think that Mr. Big Bad John would have some luck. But so far, he looks like he's failing. But I do just kind of want to ask what do you want you know what do you want in a man what do you want in life girl because i i can give it to you i really can't just tell me what you want baby what do you fear so we're chatting her up she's getting very passionate talking about film she must be into film stuff like that we're going to try to work and charm her a little bit so I've been working on her a little bit. I've been getting her all flirted up. She's accepting him wolf whistling at her. So I think she's starting to get some feelings for Don. She's kind of easing up. Not going to be hard to get anymore. He's working his magic on her. So look. All right. So my goal by the end of the night is to have them kiss. All right. So let's give her a friendly hug. Uh, really? Okay, well, if I can't get a hug from her, then, I mean, how am I going to, to get her to kiss me? Is she going to let me tickle her? Is she ticklish? Uh, some girls are into that. I'm not one of those girls. Let's continue to, like, woof whistle at her. You know, just compliment her. Have her feel herself, you know? I mean, oh, God, that sounded, like, very perverted. Have her feel herself. You know, talk her up. Compliment her so she's feeling herself. You know, like, ooh, I look good. I know I look good. Yeah, that's what I meant. Calm down. <laughs> He feels no shame in just cheating on his baby mama. No shame whatsoever. Miss Crumplebottom is over here at the bar. How funny would it be if he got with Miss Crumplebottom? She's definitely going to be a hard egg to crack, so we're not even going to bother. Uh, I'm not done with her. I think she's trying to, like, run away from us. You know, have you ever been in a bar and a guy just, like, will not leave you alone and you just try to get away from him? I feel like that's Alan right now. Uh, but Don's not giving up that easy. Uh, I, I just, look at those lips, girl. I mean, that's what he's thinking. Look at those lips. Like, I, c I could definitely just, like, kiss them and, girl, come on. <laughs> I mean, well, his want to make out with three different women, that kind of disappeared, I guess, because uh, he's 
completing so many here. He wants to ask her on a date. But, I mean, I, I really do kind of want to, you know, have them friends on that level to where he could possibly kiss her. Uh, he wants to flirt with her, have a classic dance with her. Uh, I mean, yeah, we could do that. We could we could dance with her, right? How do we do that? I mean, I guess we would have to turn on some music. How do you classic? She doesn't want to hug him, though. Oh, okay, maybe she does. I take that back. All right, we're going to continue flirting. And I am going to kind of call it a night because it's 6 o'clock in the morning. He has been partying all night freaking long. Um, so I'm going to see... I don't see an option to kiss yet, but, you know, we did make some progress. So I'm going to have him head back home. Uh, his car is over here. So we're going to, yeah, have him drive back home. Now, when we get back to our home lot, it will be the time that he left, which is probably like 10, almost 11 o'clock. And Nina will be at work, so he technically is going to be able to get away with it because the nanny is there. She's not going to know. He's got his own secret little bank account. He can pay the nanny however much money he wants to, have his fun, send her on her way as long as he's home before Nina gets home, and she'll have no idea unless somehow somebody sees him out and word gets back to her. But she's kind of like Play-Doh, Play-Doh in his hand, putty in his hand. Uh, she melts in his hand. What's that saying? Why am I having a brain fart? But anyways, yeah, I don't know. I She's definitely just so hell-bent determined to get Dawn to, to wife her up and everything that she probably would take. When anybody told her about him with a grain of salt, because they do have a child together now, I think she's definitely going to try to make it work. Uh, I honestly think Nina deserves better. Who else is with me? All right, see? Okay, so he is home. It's 11 o'clock. I don't know how that time jump happens. It's kind of annoying. But, all right, so what we're going to do is probably get some leftovers since he's pretty hungry and we're gonna eat real quick we're gonna let the nanny hang out you know as long as she's gone before nina gets home we're good um we're gonna let her do her thing clean up help us out around the house so it looks like you know we're husband goals or soon to be husband goals boyfriend goals whatever and we're keeping the house clean but really it's a uh, nanny lawson oh my god it's the same nanny that nanny's for um who was it that we was just having Oh, gosh. Oh, the Dreamer family? Wasn't that? Yeah, Nanny Lawson was taking care of Damon, too. So, that's cute. She's the community nanny. I like that. All right, so we're going to come over here and dismiss her. I was going to go over there and cuddle Olivia because, yeah, he is still a dog, and he still wants to have his cake and eat it, too. He wants to be a man -ho, but at the same time, this is his little girl. I think that she's going to have her daddy wrapped around her finger, no doubt, um... You know, he's he's still going to be Don, though. But it doesn't mean that he doesn't love his little girl. Um, you know, he's not married. He's doesn't see the point in settling down. Um, so, yeah. All right, so Nina is back from work. Oh, gosh, she's about to pass out, probably. I know, she's freaking out over the roaches. I don't know who it is. I don't know if it's that dog. It might be the dog, Tiffany. She might be the one that keeps knocking over our trash can and rolling around it. And I do catch her out there quite a bit, but it's really getting on my nerves uh she wants to woohoo hmm um i don't know i really do think that she deserves it better than dawn i know she's like in love with him but i don't know if things will continue to get better for them i know not right now it doesn't look like it because he is you know sneaking out when she's at work and taking off work and hoeing around doing things behind her back completely but like i said the older olivia gets it may change dawn um you know it might change him for the better and i really hope it does but i just he's not ready to let go of that lifestyle um and i'm not ready for him to let go it looks like it's starting to snow all right, so it looks like Olivia needs to have um, her diaper changed. So we're going to let Nina sleep because she did just get home from work about three hours ago. So let's have Don come over here and take care of the baby. Look, he already wants to become best friends with Alan. Hmm. So we're going to have to call her up and you know, probably see her in the next part. Continue to see where things go with them. Um, and then, of course, we do have more options because we deep, we deed, we deed can't talk we did meet more girls uh so i know he doesn't want to change a diaper but i'm sorry honey you're gonna have to you little girl stanky uh let's go down here and feed her make sure she's all taken care of 
I mean, I really do think that part of Don, like, he does care about Nina. He had a child with her. Technically, he is in love with her, but I don't know how to justify hoe tendencies. I've never been that way in my life. I've never tolerated it from people that's tried to hoe around on me, uh, but, you know, it could just he just might may have some insecurities, um, just stuff in his childhood, his parents. I mean, I really don't know why he is the way he is and why he can't commit. Um, but I'm, I'm rooting for him. And like I said, I really hope that Olivia barfs on his face. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I really do hope that Olivia changes him for the better. But, like, isn't she just the absolute, well, I can't really see her. Put her down some. Oh, she's like, I know what you did last night, Daddy. <laughs> she just vomited in his face. Cute. Okay. All right, let's go put her up here and have him take a shower. This house is a pigsty. Um, hygiene desperation. Okay, no need to get all desperate. I'm, I'm going to bathe you. But anyways, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this part up here. Um, if you guys liked it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Leave all your comments, suggestions, and all of that down below. Uh, stay tuned for the next part. Next part, we will be back with the Pleasant family. So that means we will be experiencing university life in The Sims 2, which I'm really excited about. We'll be focusing um, less on the adults, like Mary Sue and all of them. You know, yay, happy for them. They got their their marriage back. And I do want to take them, like, on a vacation, like, kind of renew their vow type honeymoon thing. But I'm just excited to kind of focus on the, you know, the new generation of Sims we have, um, you know, the teenagers that are going to college. So stay tuned for that. That'll be up in a few more days. But, yeah, if you have any suggestions, for the Lothario family, Caliente family. What do you guys think about Don and his uh, playboy tendencies? Do you think that Olivia will change him, uh, you know, to be a better dad? And will he settle down with Nina? Does Nina deserve better? Let me know what y'all think. Help me plan the storyline. I don't really want it to be all me. I really like y'all interacting and let me know what y'all think. So yeah, with that being said, I will talk to y'all later.